Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is your commentary of the Bible or your daily Bible class. Today we're looking at Matthew chapter 5, and we're going to be spending some time in Matthew chapter 5. And the reason being is that this happens to be the principles of the kingdom. Now, we do know from Romans 14, 17 that the kingdom of God is not a matter of meat and drink, but of righteousness, peace, and joy. But before we start, let's open our our time with a word of prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you today for the word of God. And we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful portion of scripture found in Matthew chapter 5, 6, and 7, which is the Sermon on the Mount. And so we just give this all to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, it says in Matthew chapter 5, after seeing the multitudes, he went up on a mountain. When he was seated with his disciples, who came to him, he then opened his mouth and started teaching. Now, this is where Jesus begins to actually sit down and lay out the principles of the kingdom. Now, the first six that we're going to be looking at, but we're only going to be looking at three today. They are called the Beatitudes, or they should be the attitude of every believer and child of God. He says, first of all, he says, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Now, when we're talking about poor in spirit, we're not talking about, you know, uh, poverty. We're talking about those who have a right attitude towards the things of the world. You see, when we choose to basically crucify our flesh, and Jesus would talk about that in some place else. He says, if you crucify your flesh, or if you decide to follow God and turn away from selfishness, he says, you shall be have the kingdom of heaven. Now, the kingdom of heaven, of course, is where the Lord dwells, and it's the place of heaven the essence and character of God. God wants you today to be like what David said, the uh, contrite heart, those who are humble before God. And I like that old song, that Hebrew song that says, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. Jesus basically said the rules of the kingdom are this, that if you want to be in great God's kingdom, be great in God's kingdom, you have to, first of all, learn to be the servant of all. And secondly, if you want to be first, you first of all have to learn to be last. So blessed are those who are poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Now this is a very powerful next one. It says, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Now we're not just talking about you know, losing a loved one, but also as well being willing to let go of the things of this world and allowing God to take possession of you. But of course, uh, we always take this as the fact that those who lose something or lose someone, what's going to happen is that they're going to be comforted by the Lord. That oil of joy for mourning, that garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that we might be trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, as the lo- song says. So if you've lost something very, very special, usually someone, I, I lost my dad on uh, December 26. And I had the privilege, of course, doing his funeral on uh, December 30th, but it was still a loss. And, uh, and even though he knew the Lord, we still grieve for those that we've lost. But if we've lost something um, very important in our lives, you may say, Lord, I've lost it. The Lord says, let me comfort you in this time. Then he goes on to say, blessed are the Um, blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Now, when we're talking about meekness, we are certainly not talking about weakness. For example, Moses was called the meekest man who ever lived. But when you study the life of Moses, what we're talking about is we're talking the ability to humble yourself before God. Now, I want you to notice here, in each one of these Beatitudes that I've talked about today, the first and most important quality that you need to do is let go of your own selfish pride. I've often heard people say, I am never going to surrender my pride. Well, if you never surrender your pride, you are not going to come to God. And secondly, you will not have all the things that God intended. Over the years, I've I've talked about this. And every time that I have a discussion with someone, all of a sudden says, well, what about our rights? And I always respond by this. 
When you gave your life to Jesus Christ, and it was Paul who talked about this in the book of Romans, you surrendered your life rights to the Lord Jesus Christ. You surrendered yourself to him and his control and direction in your lives. And that's why Jesus said, you are blessed when you do these things. He also says, in that moment, you will basically inherit the earth. That the promise of God is that when you give your life over to him, in the future, you will reign and rule with him. And we see this in the book of Revelation. This is one of the promises that are given to us in the future. If you humble yourself before the Lord right now and say, Lord, I'm giving everything over to you. I'm going to surrender my situation and my life to you. Then the promise is a future glorification and also as well, future reigning and rule with Christ. You know, Peter asked the question. He says, what's in it for us? Well, Jesus says, all those who are willing to give up themselves and follow him will receive a hundredfold, not only in this life, but also as well in the next. Now, many times there are people out there who are prosperity preachers who immediately say, well, because you give to God, God's going to give you a hundredfold back. And that is true. But it doesn't necessarily mean material possessions. You know, John puts it all in perspective in 3 John 2 when he said this. He says, I pray that you be in prosperity and health even as your soul prospers. Prosperity begins from the inside out. So here's Jesus basically saying, you are blessed if you do these things and the response of these things are these things are going to happen. So tomorrow we're going to finish off the last of the three Beatitudes. You know what? It basically means you be this and this be your attitude. My name is Robert Dean Steele. This is your commentary of the Bible or you can also say your daily Bible class. You have yourself a great and godly day.